storm is over, there is an after this. And I want to tell somebody that's here this morning, you may have gone through some hell and high water. In fact, while they were singing that, I thought to myself, uh, if Job was here this morning, uh, he might grab the mic while they were singing that and sing the verse and the chorus better than anyone could sing it. Why? Because he lived the song, hell or high water. Regardless of what you may be going through, hell or high water, don't you give up on the fact that there is an after this moment. As sure as the sun rises on a new day and as soon as the sun will set on an evening, giving way to something brand new that God has for your tomorrow, he sent me by to tell you today there is an after this moment. As sure as there is death, there is life. As sure as there is sickness, there is health. As sure as there is hate, there is love. As sure as there is darkness, there is light. And sure as there is depression, there is a joy unspeakable and full of glory for those that will not become weary and well-doing and will not faint. He gives us his word in times of seasons, not so that we can merely consult them, not so that we can merely revisit them, not so that we can through religious practice repeat them, but he wants us to be reminded that his word is his breath. His breath is his word. And when you read his word, it's more than a scheme of rhyme, rhythm, and psalm. It is the breath of God who created all things and is in all things, who established all things, and by his word and breath, all things were created. Let me tell you why you got up this morning and hell did not have the last word, because God said, I've got a Job 42 chapter that you've yet to write. You may be stuck in chapter 2. You may be stuck in chapter 1, but God said, it ain't over yet, baby. The enemy would like you to think that the chapter you're living in is the exclamation to your life. But God said to you this morning, if you won't put an exclamation where I want to put a comma, you won't interrupt my flow. You won't run from my faithfulness. You won't abandon my promises. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show out. I'm going to reveal the mighty arm in the hand of God. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when heaven comes down in the middle of your circumstance and proves himself faithful. Somebody ought to give God praise because he is the God of your season. He is the God of your chapter. He is giving a birth to an after this moment in your life.